I am water, friend to mankind, friend to every living creature. I am power, roaring, thundering, filling lakes and mighty oceans. I'm clouds and mist and river. I am dew that sparkles flowers. Tumbling down like molten silver, ever moving, ever growing, gliding slow through shade and sunlight, over dazzling white of sandbars, under burnished green of forest, swirling round in glistening whirlpools, bringing life to all the world. Round the earth where I have wandered, man has made his home beside me, made his home so I may serve him quench his thirst and grow his harvest. And as man has built beside me, he has found me many uses. Now must I refresh and save him, wash and cleanse his dirty garments, fetch him pure and healthy water, carry refuse from his village. But I cannot serve him both ways. For the refuse that I carry makes me now unfit for drinking, slow and sluggish, filled with poison, bringing death instead of life. Bursting free, I race and tumble over fall, down rushing rapids. Whirling madly, twisting, turning, over rocks and filtering sandbars. But I have not lost the poison. Thus I'm carried to their table, bringing death and sickness with me. I, who should be pure and stainless, am a foul and stealthy killer. It is I who caused these empty chairs. Man has forced me to these murders. They are not of my designing. Forced me by his careless action. Made of me a common carrier, carrier of death. Yet these deaths were really needless. Men of knowledge have discovered ways to test and to protect me. Sanitary engineers have given a lifetime of study to the problems of keeping me pure. When I am taken from rivers, streams, or ponds for drinking purposes, I am always dangerous. It is best to take me from an underground source, such as this inviting spring. I am pure as I flow into it, but if refuse and dust containing germs from human waste fall in or drain in during wet weather, I may become the source of sickness and death. Now, the first step in safeguarding me is to dig back into the spring. Next, install a simple watertight housing of rock, concrete, or even wood. A trough or pipe with spout turned downwards will let me out, but will not let contamination in. To prevent seepage, Make a diversion dish. Isn't it worth this little effort to know that I am pure and clean, safe for all who drink me? The problems involved in keeping me pure in this well are much the same as those concerning the spring. There is always danger from dust and debris containing deadly germs from human waste. Suppose I should be carelessly spilled when taken from the well. And see what happens when it rains. To divert drainage, bank the dirt up like this. To protect from seepage, the lining should be rebuilt, and a layer of clay six inches thick rammed and packed solidly around it to a depth of ten feet. Because of the rule, when I filter through to that depth, I become purified. Even the rope and bucket may be contaminated by handling. 
To avoid contact with human hands, a simple tripping mechanism will empty the bucket automatically. To prevent deadly disease germs from falling into the well, cover it with a dust and insect type housing. Thus, by the use of materials which are easily available to you, I can be transformed from a possible enemy into a true friend and faithful servant. Of course, the concrete well with pumps instead of buckets is best of all. The upper 10 feet of lining is of concrete, thus ensuring permanent proof against species. The well is covered by a concrete slab with watertight joints. The pump is securely bolted down, completely sealing the well, which is now protected from all the common sources of pollution. In the driven well, with its metal casing, we do not have the problem of seepage, but it too must be sealed. The casing should be surrounded by a concrete apron to which the pump is bolted. In all cases where pumps require priming, keep the supply of water for that purpose protected from contamination. Surely it isn't difficult to choose between danger, sickness, even death, and life, health, and safety. Remember, human waste is the most deadly source of contamination. Your outhouse must always be placed at a safe distance from the well. Although you may have thoroughly protected your well or spring, there's a chance it may be situated in a rock formation, such as limestone. In that case, I may travel long distances underground, carrying death. You cannot be sure of what you cannot see. To be certain that I am free of the deadly diseases, typhoid, cholera, and dysentery, take me to your local health department. They'll gladly tell you if I am cured and fit to drink. And if there is ever any question, any doubt as to my safety, you need only heat and foil me. If you listen to me closely, you'll hear me softly singing. Singing now because I'm happy. For I know that fire strengthens, driving death and sorrow from me. Then keep me clean and covered. And instead of bringing sorrow, I'll bring you health and laughter. I will always truly serve you. Friend to you and yours forever. Friend to all the world.